Hello students today we will learn about one last method of asexual reproduction the tissue culture tissue culture is the technique of growing cells and tissues separate from the organism in an artificial medium this technique is also known as micro propagation oil palm banana eggplant pineapple rubber tree tomato and sweet potato etc have been propagated by tissue culture in the developing countries so let's see this technique in detail in this method we take a small piece of growing tip of a plant to grow into a new plant many times the organs are also used for tissue culture the parts of the plant used for culturing is known as explants now think about what this explant provides us correct an explant provides tissue and culture provides the required nutrients to growing tissue and so now you know why this method is called tissue culture now think about what is there in this culture media it contains nutrients that are required for plant growth it is called broth or agar the nutrient medium is made up of macronutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium sulfur etc these are required for proper growth and organ formation in this tissue this medium also contains micronutrients like iron manganese zinc etc These are required in small amount but are crucial for growth of tissues. Remember that these micro and macro nutrients are present in the form of salts. The carbon or energy source in the medium is carbohydrates which are most widely used. They serve to provide energy. In addition, it also has vitamins, amino acids, So in this method a little piece of tissue called an explant is extracted from the plant's growing point or tip of root and shoot it is transferred in the container with special nutritive medium under sterile conditions this is the first step of tissue culture and is called initiation phase do you know what will happen to this explant in few days time the cells of tissue derive nutrients from the medium to divide and multiply rapidly it creates a shapeless lump of material now known as callus this is the second step called multiplication phase as you can see some cells have multiplied into a bigger number or lump of cells what is done with this callus now the callus is then moved to another nutritive medium that encourages growth and differentiation into roots and shoots now you must be thinking what is so different about this medium from the previous one the main difference is that it contains specific hormones in addition to nutrients these hormones help the callus to differentiate and develop its body parts namely roots and shoots Note here that the entire plant does not grow in this medium. Small miniature grows here. The callus with roots and shoots are now called as plantlets. This is the third step called as root and shoot formation. What is done to this plantlet now? Correct. These plantlets are then transplanted into pots or into ground with soil, of course. where they can grow into adult plants the last step is called acclimatization thus from a few initial plant cells or tissue many miniature plantlets are created in this method which then grow up to the new individual plants now students pause the video take a second and think about the advantages of this method so what do you think they are let me help you with this The plantlets are obtained in very short time as you can see here and thus the production of new varieties can speed up. 
the new plants produced are disease free and from a small amount of plant tissue these plants can be grown throughout the year irrespective of the season last but not the least plant tissue culture may be used for genetic modification of plant or simply to increase its yield in fact the cells of plants can be genetically altered to produce plants with desirable characteristics so what we have seen in this one last method is that a growing part of plant is transplanted onto a nutritive medium where it grows into an undifferentiated mass of cells called callus this callus is then transferred to another medium containing specific growth hormones they initiate and promote root and shoot development in callus which is then planted in soil to grow and mature into a new individual plant and this method is called tissue culture in the next video we will learn about sexual reproduction in plants